Razavan for fighthype.com with me. I've got my man, WBO middleweight champion of the world. That's right, that's right. Billy Joe Saunders, uh, what's happening, Bill? No, not so much. It's a uh, press conference today, just to, um, obviously everybody knows, but just put it out there, who I'm fighting, when I'm fighting, what plans I've got for the future. Um, and when I go to America and conquer that as well. Billy, talk to me a little bit about you were last out, I believe it was December against Andy Lee. Yep. Um, you won your first world title. How frustrating have the last 10 months been for you? Uh, you're back in action in October and Cardiff, but how frustrating has it been that you've been out of the ring? Very frustrating, but um, like I say, you can't predict injuries. Um, then we was in a couple of negotiations with a certain fighter from Britain and getting messed about terribly, and that all of a sudden, for about three months passed. And, you know, here we are now. Supposed to go to America. Um, supposed to go to America. No names was put to me. Only the name that I wanted. Um, so yeah, that was about it. I have Rosado put to me, but obviously he's so good. I ducked him because he's unbelievably good. <laughs> he's a good fighter, isn't he? Um, what was your response to him? Because he did actually say you ducked him. You didn't want to fight him. You wanted to keep the fights. Look, I can understand. I can understand that. Um, you know he. He wants to fight for the world title, and that's his dream to win a world title. Not taking nothing away from him, because, like I say, I respect everybody who gets in the ring. Because over in England here and in Scotland, trust so we had a fire pass away last week. So I respect everybody who gets in the ring. But when he starts saying that I'm frightened of him, I ducked him. That's just um, that's just it's jokes. It's jokes because. Um, I've got at home, I've got, if you want to fight a Saunders, I've got a six-year-old at home that would, uh, I'll, I'll trust him defending me better against him because he's talented and he's very good. And, um, but Rosado, he's, he's, he's nothing for me ever to worry about. I'll put it that way. So obviously the last couple of months we've had Rosado, Willie Monroe Jr. as well calling you out. Um, yeah, do you know what, I will say one thing about Willie Monroe Jr. I actually uh, tagged him, or I didn't tag him, I tagged someone in there and I said he's fine, a bum and whatnot else. But Willie Monroe Jr. is not a bum. He's not a bum, he's a good fighter. Um, you know, he's, he showed great art, he's been in with some good men. So I take that back, but he will still never beat me as long as he's got hole in his ass. Hmm. And obviously, you know, the, the media's been quite critical as well. We know we'll come to Tyson Fury shortly, but as boxers, do you sometimes feel like you don't get appreciated and it's always negative criticism from the media? I know Dan Raphael and yourself had a back and forth on Twitter. But yeah, I, I think that boxers don't get enough credit because listen, we put our life on the line every time we get in the ring. Every single time. And every time we get in the ring, every single time we get in the ring, we put our life on the line. And, um, you know, we, we could go home to our families, we could not. Mm. But I know the risk of that and I think people just need to respect fires a bit more. Mm. You're, you're lined up for October uh, for your return against Arthur Ak Akobov, I believe. Yep. Um, a Russian, I think he's only lost just the once. Yep. Um, how dangerous is he and what risk does he pose to you? Uh, listen, he knows that if he, he he beats me, he knows that he's in talks to all these big fights. He knows that he's the one talking about fighting your Glovkins and your Canelo. So, you know, it's very important that I don't let this slip, don't let it go, don't take my off the ball because, you know, it's easily done. And uh, sometimes the best man don't always win. And uh, immediately after the Arthur fight, I believe it's Triple G. You won. You, you made it quite clear. In the I press think he, he won't fight. I think he's fighting Jacobs in December. So I let him fight Jacobs. Um, I think that's the route they're going to take, and I'll, I'll be happy to fight him whenever his next available date after that is. Providing obviously I come through my two fights, because I'll be fighting in December myself. Please God. So would you rather prefer to fight Canelo first in Triple G or straight to the top in, in, in Triple G? Well, look, it's, it's whoever comes available. Whoever wants me first. I'm like a, I'm like a male slag, you know, a male prostitute for the for the two fighters. They both want the belt. So, like I say, I believe in my own head I can beat both men. So I'm not bothered. Which one's the easiest fight for you? Canelo. Canelo will never beat me ever. He can, he would never better live with my boxing style ever. And I believe that Canelo won't fight me on that reason.